Hi guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to my channel and we're going to continue working on the springtime journals. <laughs> I thought today was going to be our flip through and finishing up. I'm just not there. I've spent the last few days being down with my back and haven't been able to get to my um, craft table. Um, pretty much been crafting in bed. Um, so I want to just kind of show you what I've been doing and then we'll continue on. So when we left last time, um, we had made these. Um, the, I stitched around all of these before I started the video this evening. So those are all ready to go in the journal. They're so pretty. I don't know that I'm gonna put anything on here. I don't know, maybe a word or something or a little label sticker. I don't know, we'll see. So we have those are all ready to go in. And I had pulled, if you remember, um, let's see, this is just all ephemera, that's right, oh. We have these glassine bags, which I still need to do, maybe we'll do those tonight. And then I had guest checks and I had flashcards. So I, I did do those. So here's a couple of the flashcards that I did and I just backed them just with backing paper topped them with a little lace and sewed around them. So there's two. And here's the other two that I chose out of the stack that I did to go in these journals. So I've got two flashcards for each journal ready to go. And I've got these ready. And then I've got guest checks too. Um, just this is simply a strip of paper from the collection and um, one of the cut apart fairies. No need to back a guest check. They're lined on the outside. I just put uh, a tab on the top of them. What I need to do, I went ahead and, oh, when I was doing flashcards, I went ahead and just did a bunch of them. Well, I have four more, five more that I did. Um, here they are, just basically a scrap piece of paper and a vellum sticker topped with a little lace. That's literally all I did. This has got a couple scraps of paper and a little piece of scrap fabric that I had. This one will be nice for fall. Just got some music and a scrap piece of paper with mushroom vellum sticker. Here's another just couple of little, just scrap pieces, you know, you don't need much because you want the numbers to show. I, at least I do. Um, I want people that get my journals to know that this was a flashcard and because I think that's cool. So these get to go in my pre-made ephemera box because they are done and along with them will be the rest of these guest checks I did a whole bunch of them as I sat down to do these just because they were so simple on most of them I literally just put stickers isn't that one cute I wish do we have any orange in here it would still go though I need another couple so we'll pull that one and we'll pull let's see so anyway, I just want to show them to you. We'll find one that I like to go with these. Just basically a vellum sticker with a tab at the top. That one's pretty. Oh, let's pull this one. Even though it's mushroom, fairies sit on mushrooms. And even in some of the images in the collection, um, the fairies are on mushrooms. So these, the rest of these, so now I've got three, six guest checks and five flashcards to go in my completed ephemera bin. So we'll stick those in there. And now these go in here. I've got two guest checks for each journal. Um, got two flashcards for each journal. These are ready to go. So we're getting there. Um, what other projects was I working on while I was in bed? Um, I collaged a journal cover. And I've never done one of these. This was an Amazon envelope that literally is the bubble, the literal bubble wrap. And it's the, had the exposed bubble wrap on the inside. Um, so when I cut it into the journal shape and size, the inside here was exposed bubble wrap. And then it had the kind of orangish outside to it. So what I did, because I wanted to collage this and, um, you know, 
most adhesives, at least I found for myself, um, don't like to stick to that plastic bubble wrap. And so um, at least enough in a way that I'm comfortable with it being a journal cover. So what I did was I actually glued with art glitter glue um, just some tissue paper to the inside where the exposed bubble wrap was. So when I so when I collaged it, my paper was actually sticking to tissue paper. And so this is super sturdy. The paper isn't peeling up or anything like that. I was gonna Mod Podge this, but I don't know, everything's down really well. I'm not, nothing's peeling up, everything's doing well. So um, so this is nice and and it's pretty thick and you can feel the kind of paddedness of the bubble wrap in there. So that's pretty cool. I did that and sewed around that before the video started. And what I had done was I had taken a paper collection and it's still in my bedroom or I'd show it to you. But what I did was I had this paper collection from, that was gifted to me a couple of years back from um, Hobby Lobby. It was a paper studio uh, collection and it had like two different flower prints, polka dotted plaid, um, this little kind of damask print. This is like um, slats of wood grain, that color plus white. Then I pulled from another paper collection a couple of additional, like this script, because it had blue in it and pink um, that would complement it. And I, in this paper collection, they had different colors. So every one of these prints, the polka dot, the plaid, the wood grain, the two flower prints, um, those kinds of things, they have them in about eight different colors in that paper collection. So I pulled all of light blues. I pulled every page from the light blue and I had like five pieces, I think five or six pieces of paper. Then I added a couple of complementary ones, cut them all into pieces, and I just started collaging with it. So um, that was pretty cool. So when I had done with my cover, I had some pieces left. So I did a couple journal cards that I need to back. We might do that tonight. And this one I did kind of in a belly band, um, so I didn't back it, but that used up the rest of the scraps that I had going for this and I'll just put these with this journal cover and um, so when I have a journal that can be used with that we're ready to go so let me back these real quick so I can put them on my sewing machine so I'm just kind of I guess tonight we're just gonna sit and um, kind of pick up my desk a little bit and maybe get farther on these um, journals that doesn't quite fit on there, but it would leave a border and that's okay with me. So let's do that. Just because they're the first things that I grabbed. Don't wanna to spend too much time on all of this. I would really like to start putting these journals together, at least to get the ephemera organized. I wanted to let you guys know also while I was sitting in bed, I did some work on my channel and um, I created a bunch of playlists on there and moved my videos into their respective playlists. So my channel is a lot more user friendly now. So if you are looking for a um, video, let's say where I made a journal cover, all the videos that I've made that I've created journal covers in are now in the making journal covers playlist. So my, when you go to my channel, it's just much more user friendly now and easier to find, um, to find videos that you might be looking for. So check that out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It sure would help me out. And, um, you know, anytime you're viewing a video, if you could click the like button and maybe even just make a little comment or anything that would help out as well. Um, really trying to build my channel and so any of those things that y'all could do to help me out would be much much appreciated because I sure appreciate you guys hanging out with me here and 
craft and with me even on nights like tonight where I'm just kind of piddling around and trying to get things done and I don't have like an assigned project that I'm going to be doing. I have been taking some notes because as I was sitting in my room kind of recouping the last couple days, I have um, been kind of jotting down my ideas of things that I want to um, do videos on, things like that. I'm kind of thinking ahead toward July because I want to do a whole Christmas in July um, for July. And um, I know for one thing I'm going to do a little golden book Christmas journal and I'll do a start to finish on that. And um, what else? I wanted to do um, an as many as um, video for, um, like a Christmas collection. So maybe we'll do some Christmas cards, see as many as cards we can get out of, um, out of a paper collection. So I know I want to do one of those and okay, that's good. That can go on my sewing machine now. And I would love to hear from y'all. Um, please, make a comment. Um, is there something you would like to see? Is there something you would, some type of video that you would like to see me do? Um, and it can be anything from a project to a, um, maybe a question and answer, um, that kind of thing. So I would love, love to hear from y'all and get your ideas of maybe what kind of videos you would like to see me do. Um, because I'm here for you. That's what I really, you know, I want to be putting up content that you guys want to see. So, um, so please just make a comment. I would love to read that. Okay, I'm gonna put these on my sewing table. And I'll sew around those and put them with the journal and the belly band that I have ready to go. Okay, let's get these glassine bags done. And the reason I have three of them is because I've got two, um, I've got two of the Graphic 45 Springtime, Once Upon a Springtime. I have another spring journal that I have been kind of making ephemera for. Um, that I do have a cover for, but I have not printed the paper collection. Um, but I know the colors of the paper collection, so I might as well make a glassine bag for that. So let me grab my napkins because that's what I wanted to do on here. Where are my napkins? Let's see. Where do I have them? Sorry about this. I can't remember where I've put them. Hmm. Oh, I think I see them. There they are. Okay. And I don't think I want to cover the whole thing in napkin because I really like, like, let's say I was going to put this, uh, this flash card in here, which I may do. This may be where it lives. I want to be able to see it through the bag. So I'm thinking maybe like a strip of a napkin and maybe a label. That would be cute. So let's do that because I have these pretty little labels here that I would really like to use. Like this is super pretty. Okay, so we'll find labels after we do the napkins, but I have those sitting over there. So let's, this napkin's really pretty. It doesn't really go with this collection, but um, it probably will go with my other one. This is really cute. We could use that maybe. But I'm, I'm looking at this butterfly right here and I'm thinking that's really pretty. And maybe we could put that down here and maybe put a label here in the middle. Maybe some lace at the top or something. Or we could put this. No, I like it down here. I'm gonna go ahead and tear this. Let's 
So let's just choose our napkins first. This can go, this can be for the, um, for the one I've got over here, not the graphic 45 one, but let's see what I have that might look nice with the graphic 45 one. Mm, this is pretty. Oh, that's real pretty. And I could cover the whole thing because this is white, so you will be able to see through it. Okay, so let's set this one aside. this up. This has got some really, really, I like that. That's super pretty. Okay. Question is, is where is my tape that my children love to take off my desk? Because I need to get these layers off. Looks like I might be able to peel this off myself. So there's one layer. I'll save this. I don't know what we can use that for, but I'm sure we can use it for something. And let's see if I can get these apart here. Yeah. There we go. Thank goodness. Because I don't see my tape anywhere. And we'll use that for the other two because that'll go nicely with the graphic 45. Okay. Put this back in here. So I'm thinking here. Where we get most of the flower and the butterfly. Okay, so let's just cut. I'm gonna cut right on the fold line of the napkin. And we'll just cut two of them out. And I am just going to use um, glue stick for this. Actually, you know what I could use as my gel medium. Let's do that. I've got that sitting right here in front of me. I just need a piece of wax paper, which I have sitting right here. This is Liquitex um, matte gel, uh, gel medium. Grab a paintbrush. I'll just use this little sponge brush here. And I think what I'll do is take a scrap piece of cardstock. Probably use this one. Just kind of cut it down. I don't want to get glue on this flap here and glue that closed. I would be devastated if I did that. So I'm going to cut this to the size of the bag. And I'm just going to stack both of these so I get both of them at the same time. I know I'm off camera, but I'm just cutting these where I marked them. I'm just gonna stick this right in here. <laughs> Did I not cut it enough? Or just enough, look at that. We'll put this one in here. And now I won't get glue on the back of my bag. Okay. So let's see thinking just like that I might end up cutting off the butterfly a little bit but that's okay so 
So I'm going to just put the gel medium on just like you would Mod Podge. I love the gel medium though um, because when it dries, it you, it still all feels like paper. It doesn't feel like you've used like a wet glue on it. And I really like that uh, texture. Let's get this all covered. Okay. Now we'll just lay this in here. Trying to straighten it out. Okay, I missed some over here in this corner. So we'll put a little more down here. I wanna make sure it's all the way to the edge. And then I'm gonna go over the top of it. And we'll trim that off once it's dry. So I hope y'all are doing okay and you've had a good few days. I hope for those of you who are moms had a great Mother's Day weekend. All my kids were here at the house. That was really nice. It's very rare where everybody's all in one place anymore, you know? And so it was nice to have everyone here. We had a nice dinner. My daughter asked me, what did I want for dinner? And I love, like one of my favorite restaurants to go to is Outback Steakhouse. And um, of course that's like super, super expensive. Um, like we can't afford to go there, not with the seven of us anyway. Um, but uh, my favorite dish there is called Alice Springs Chicken and it's basically like chicken, cheese, mushrooms, um, and it's marinated in, um, in like this homemade honey mustard sauce. And, um, and then they have that same sauce on the side for dipping. Um, your chicken into and I love that dish and since we couldn't afford to go there for dinner I asked my daughter if she would look up like a copycat recipe and um, so she um, she did that she looked up a copycat recipe and um, and she made me Alice Springs chicken <laughs> for dinner <laughs> so that was awesome it was really good too Okay, I, th I had trouble with this one, so I think I'm gonna wait and decoupage over this with the gel medium until it's dry and I can trim it down and I think I'll have an easier time. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna take one of the layers out because we've got one more to do. And I'm gonna put this over here to dry. And for this one, I just really want to, um, what I'm thinking, okay, let me, let me tear this, because I don't need this whole thing. What I'm thinking would be nice is to put this on here and then do a thin layer of lace on above the design and below the design to kind of highlight it. I think that would be really cute. So just put some, I think it'll be okay to do the top and bottom of this one because I don't have to worry about gluing this shut. Put this kind of right in the middle here. Make sure I have the butterfly. So anyway, that was nice. It was a nice Mother's Day. It was good to have all my kids in one spot and they're my favorite people in the whole world. So it's always nice to have them around. And again, it's a rare 
to have them all in the same place anymore. So that was really nice. I had a good day that day. And I hope y'all did too, those of you who are moms. Okay, now we'll put this one aside to dry. I'm gonna go set this over by my sink and set this over here to dry. And I had an idea for one more thing that I wanted to do. Okay. And it's probably the last piece of ephemera I will make because I, am, I have plenty of pockets and I know I have plenty of stuff to fit in pockets um, because we have a ton of journaling cards with the collection. So, um, what I wanted to make was um, also to use up a couple of these scraps and I'm thinking this one or Let's see what the designs are on the backs of these. These are pretty. Let's use this one. These scraps are about three. They're three and a half wide. So let's cut it in half at six. I'm going to make this a tag. But, and I did these at Christmas, but I don't think I showed y'all how to do it. I think I had done them off camera and I just showed you what they were afterwards. So I'm just gonna cut these into tag shapes real quick. And then I'm gonna grab my backing papers. And basically what they are is um, what I made was um, they were tags, but they had a little tablet of paper on the back side. So I call them tag tablets. So I'm just going to ink these up really quick. So I want this side to show because we can decorate it. And this side will just be on the inside, but there'll be paper on top of it. And these were really cute and I used them in my Christmas journals. In fact, I think I still have a couple of them left. We'll have to make some more of them maybe on one of our Christmas once a month or maybe at Christmas in July, just so that I have a stash of them in Christmas, col in Christmas papers. But I really liked to put them in um, journals because they're a, they're a good size. They're three and a half by six. And so the papers that go on the back, that clip onto them, are a good size for journaling. Journal on them, put pictures on them, um, but it's great additional journal space, yet they're not super thick or anything. Okay, let me grab my backing papers and I'm gonna grab my tear ruler. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab out several different kinds of paper out of here. So we've got that, and we've got that. What else do I have in here? Um, I've got some, this is like yellow graph paper. What do I have scraps of? I need some ledger, so let me pull. I don't have, oh, I've got some lined paper here. That's one, two, three, that's four pieces of paper. Let's do one more, let me grab some ledger. I don't have any scraps of ledger paper that are gonna be big enough. So let me grab my, um, my ledger book. Where's my ledger book? Mm, looking, I don't see it. Sorry guys. I'm more prepared here. Where is my ledger book? Oh, here it is. It's buried back here. Okay. Let me just grab a piece of ledger paper out of here. There we go. Okay. 
So these are like three by six, three and a half by six tags. So I'm going to cut my papers at like three and a quarter by like five and three quarters, something like that. But I'm going to tear them um, just because I like the texture of that. So I'm going to take this, hold these holes off here. So three and a half, so I'm going to go three and a quarter. So I'm going to line it up on my mat here. And we'll go one, two, three and a quarter. I can get two out of this. What, what does this measure? It measures 11, so I can get both sheets out of here. So we'll go five. What did I say? Six, five and three quarter. Oh, we may not be able to get both, but you know what? The other one can be shorter. One, two, three, four, five and three quarters is right here. And this is just going to be a little bit shorter, and that's fine. So we have these. Um, this will be shorter, but I just want to make sure that it's three and a quarter. So one, two, three, and a quarter. I'm just going to take a little bit off there. trimmed down here. I don't want them to have a straight edge if I can help it. This one will have somewhat of a straight edge because I'm not going to bother tearing off the edge of this one. It is what it is. So one, two, three, and a quarter. And these are still great scraps. And I don't think that these are even five. One, two, three, four. They're at, oh, I can cut it off at five right here. Okay. So there's that one. those. I have no fingernails, so it's very hard to grab this. And the back side, oh look, the back side's a neat little yellow ombre. There we go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's cut this at five and three quarters. One, two, three, four, five, and three quarters. Let's do it this way. It'll be easier. can just do the three. One, two, three. And a quarter. One, two, three and a quarter. So there's those. And we just have, let me pull these aside here. We just have this. That's a nice. I'm gonna take off this raggedy edge here. Oh, that's our scrap piece. Still didn't do that straight. That's okay. One, two, three, quarter. And this can go 
back in the backing papers. And I'm just gonna tear both of these at the same time. symbol. So these are basically going to go like this. Let's stack them the way we want them first. Let's go like that and like that. To like this, maybe under the ledger paper, and then our writing paper on the top, like that. That and I'm just going to paper clip these for right now. Let me grab a couple clips. Just to keep these in place. So they don't move around. Okay. Oh, and look what I got for Mother's Day. I'm so excited. My daughter got me a new crocodile. Mine was so old, it didn't even set eyelets anymore. So, we are going to punch holes and set eyelets. So, these are definitely a different design a little bit. We need to move these to the right setting. for a 3 16th eyelet. There we go. And let me just remind myself, it's been so long. Okay. Let me move my paper clip off to the side so we can punch holes and set the eyelets at the same time. And I want to do it in the middle so I don't want the paper clip to be in the way. So let's put our tag. Oops, let's straighten these back up. I'm going to put our tag right here, right at the top. I don't want it like that, I want it like this. So that when we turn it over, I'm going to center this. Center things where I want them to go, like that. Move my paper clip over just a tad. Like that. Do I have this centered? Not quite. White. I'm just going to pull my papers over a little bit. That's better. Like that. Okay, so that's what we have. Got our papers stacked. I'm going to grab a couple violets here. I'm going to use my kind of bronzy color. Okay, I'm gonna punch a hole, kind of eyeball center it. Put my eyelid in. Wow, look, I have not been able to do that in so long. 
And boy, a brand new one works so well. It just, it's like a butter. So we'll punch our hole and then set our eyelet. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> it's so easy when you have a tool that works. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna trim our corners. Like this. Clear the mess. Put my tool away. Oh, it's so nice to have one that works. And that's what we have. We've got a tag with a little bit of paper in it. Let's do a little decoration and put something real cute at the top. That's really cute, huh? Okay. Let's see what we have in our stickers and cut aparts here. Um, that's real cute. Just something right there in the corner. Maybe this one here. That's cute. Okay, maybe with a little bit of book page. Oh, music. Let's use some music. That would be cute. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about punching these little things out of the out of the hole. out here because this one's a little bit taller and I'm just gonna kind of right here kind of tear at an angle up to the corner so like that and we can do this one kind of the same way just from the other side. I'll do it like that. Cute. Okay. I don't mind that this looks blank up here. We could use some of our sticker though. I don't know. Oh, this one says once upon a springtime. No. I don't know if I feel like doing that. We could maybe use a couple of our stamps though. And grab a couple of those. She's upside down. Maybe like that. That's cute. All right, it's ink and glue, ink and glue. Scraps. Uh, 
Oh, it's so good to be at my craft table. I have been so bored, you guys. Just being in bed with my back and just nothing but watching TV. Like I gathered all that stuff and did that um, collaging and you know, my flashcards and um, guest checks and stuff because I just, I, I couldn't stand to just sit there anymore. I was so bored. And it felt good to do something creative. I don't know if y'all are like me, if I, um, if I'm too, if it's been too long since I've been able to be created, I get really, really, I mean, to be creative, I get really, really antsy. Just cutting off these kind of little, I think I need my smaller scissors for that. There's these little like nubs from the die cut. Let me get those off of there. There we go. That's better. Cannot wait to get these together finally and move on to a different color scheme. You know what I mean? For me, when a project takes me a while, like these have taken me a while just because I've had so much going on in between videos, you know, with just, um, just stuff. And I've had to create a lot of ephemera from it, for it and things like that. So it's taken me a while and, uh, to finish them and, it, it's taken way too long, way too long. Okay. Let's get our music down. And I am just ready, ready to move on to a different project. right in the corner here. And we'll look and see what kind of fabric scraps I've got in my bin for this project and see what we've got in there that we can put in our little holes at the top. Okay. My art glitter glue. Really cute, the die cuts and things for, for this collection are adorable. I'm gonna put that over here, kind of in the center a little. Okay, oops. That's another great thing about these, like when you journal on this, because it's a, um, well I guess it won't because the metal's kind of in the way, never mind. Never mind. just kind of under like that and I'll move this over to the left a little I don't like things to line up perfectly I like for them to be kind of a little offset so I don't want that to line up straight with that stamp okay well, let's look for something to put in our little hole at the top Let's see what I have here. It's a little bit of lace. I've got this. But there's really no blue in there. Oh, I've got these. Oh, this would be really cute. Okay, I know this is too long, but I really like how wide it is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it through here. We'll see. I like how wide it is though. Oh, can I get it? Oh, it might take a little bit of finagling here, but I really like it. 
I want to use it. Get in there. go this way from the back. New. There we go. It's getting there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Wow. And it didn't tear it. Thank goodness. I need to go a little bit more though. I'm being stubborn about this one. Sorry guys. I just hope I don't ruin my tag. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take my fabric scissors. I'm gonna cut these, Let's see if I can get them facing the right direction. The little butterflies, because I think they're adorable. I'm gonna cut them. Okay, that's adorable. I love that. Okay, let's find something for the other one. I think we'll use this one. But I don't think I'll leave it that thick. I'll cut it in half. This one won't be as difficult. But it'll be pretty. some scraps left there those are cute so those are those we have our little tablets on the back with the eyelets really cute okay where are we at time wise oh my gosh we're still we're nearing an hour goodness gracious okay well my um uh, tag my glassine bags are not dry so I will let you guys go here, and what I will do is wait for these to dry, put another coat on them, ink them up, and just kind of put some lace and stuff on them. So when we're together next, um, we can just assemble our journals, and we'll be done and ready to move on to the next project. So as always, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great day. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.